Since I have a, a J-pole that I already purchased at one of the ham swaps that was built by an organization locally and they sold them for like $20 a piece, but I need to have another one so I'm just going to copy this design. Basically this short element here is about a quarter wavelength and the longer element is three quarter wavelengths and this is uh, for the 440 to 450 megahertz range and all the repeaters are between um, are on the upper half where you would transmit so it's probably going to be tuned to around 445 to 448 somewhere in there so basically I'm just going to copy this design and I have some aluminum rod and aluminum stuff I'm going to make it out of the first thing I'm going to do is cut these rods and the first rod is just over 16, or excuse me, just over 6 inches, so it's like about 16, I don't know why I could say 16, 6 and a 16th. So I'll go ahead and um, mark this one and cut it. I'm going to take a file and clean up these edges. And also kind of chamfer off the edges on the uh, corners. Let's see how close that came out. Okay, that looks good. And the other one, the other length is going to be 20 and 5 sixteenths. Okay, we'll check this dimension. That looks good. Okay, so there's the two elements. The next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make a piece like this square piece here. And it's about one inch by almost three inches. But I'm going to make it with this kind of a, oops, I dropped it. This kind of an SO239 connector to plug the uh, feed line into. And one inch would probably make it, I may make it a little bit wider. I think I'm going to make it an inch and a quarter wide. Inch and a quarter wide by at least three inches. This piece of metal I got here is three and three quarter. So let me just cut off a piece that's uh, an inch and a quarter wide. So 
I'll just cut along that line and I'm going to use a um, sawzall to cut that. Okay, before I cut this, I'm going to go ahead and put some masking tape besides this line here. That way it'll keep the um, sawzall from scuffing up the aluminum because from it vibrating around it'll it'll scuff up the aluminum. That should work. thing I like to do is put a little bit of uh, oil on this blade just a little bit and it keeps the um, aluminum from galling and clogging up your bit or your blade Cut's not too bad, but I'll take a file and clean that up, make it nice and flat. I'm going to move that camera so you can see this a little bit better. That's probably better. And all I'm doing here is taking off the high spots, making it flat and straight. I think I'm going to get a different file though. Aluminum tends to clog up a file. So I'm using this file comb here to clean it up. That's pretty flat. Now I'm going to chamfer off the, the corners here at a 45 degree, or about 45 degree, so I don't have any sharp edges on it. And I'll do that all the way around.
guess I didn't have to do this quite yet because I still need to cut this down to about three inches long. Yeah, three inches about right. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this at three inches. And I use that square again to make a nice square line. And again I'll put some tape next to that line so that uh, when the sawzall is cutting it doesn't scuff up the aluminum. tape off and clean up this other edge. Okay, the base is uh, made. Now I'm going to have to start drilling some holes. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line down the center of this. And I'm just getting it close. It doesn't have to be exact. And then um, I've measured the, the distance between these two rods and it's about two and one eighth inches and over from the edge it's going to be about seven sixteenths of an inch to the first one so seven sixteenths there's where the first hole is going to be over here then two and an eighth inches from that will be the second hole so two and one eighth Like that. If you can see that, it's that line and that line. So I'll drill the holes in it. This is about a quarter of an inch. We'll measure it here and make sure. Got 252 thousandths. This one's exactly the same. So it's about a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to have to put two other holes, one for a screw to go in to something to hold the antenna up. And I'm going to use this little rod here. So that's about, looks like about a half inch away from that rod or so. Let's see, it's, no, it's about uh, seven eighths. So I'll take, excuse me, not seven eighths. about five-eighths of an inch. So I'll make another mark five-eighths of an inch away. And where the SO239 is going to fit, I'm going to have to keep it away from that edge. So I'm going to put it, I'm just going to kind of eyeball this too. I'm going to put it about about there, so I'm just going to mark a center spot. Okay, so I think 
I can drill two quarter inch holes on the ends. I'm going to use this screw in the end of the rod. I'll have to measure that. So I'll make a hole for that as well.